Hey Eddie, hey everybody. I'm going to talk today about fishing in Stardew Valley. I decided against starting over and doing a series where I just play the game. I decided a better strategy would be to try to highlight where I think the best fishing things are. Because actually, I have been playing this game a lot. Got my fishing to level 10. It's basically the only thing I do and I have been doing for a while. This is the first year still. Um, I got basically with the money I've spent my money I've gained with fishing, I'm able to get all my tools to gold that you can upgrade. And uh, I actually don't use wikis for this game, so I figured the best thing I could do is let you guys know where I think the best fishing spots are, because I've been playing a lot with fishing. I noticed that when you're over here in this part, this is where I was fishing the lake for a while, I noticed that whenever I would fish, hopefully it's not going to be seaweed or something, and a fish I can actually catch. We'll see. Come on, baby. There we go. All right. What's it gonna be? Yeah, I can probably catch this. I think it's a red snapper. Maybe I don't know. I'm still not very familiar with the fall fish, but oh, okay, a chub, <laughs> dumbest fish ever. Anyway, yeah. So that one's gold. So that's a good spot to fish. But I noticed also that sometimes silver ones will show up over there. So the best spot I like to go to is right over here. It's, it's a nicer spot anyway. It looks nicer. There's more trees around me. So this is where I fish and I'm a guaranteed 100% to get goldfish. And at lower levels, you have a better chance of getting higher level fish too. At level 10, uh, there's a way better chance for you to get better fish basically anywhere you are. So it, it's a little bit of a mute point. But for new players, this is pretty much the best spot you can go to to get really nice big huge fish that are gold and give you extra money for their, for their worth. So there's that, that's where I fish in the uh, lake. So I'm gonna go ahead, I think the next closest place for me is to go down to the ocean, so I'll head there right now. Oh yeah, I started my day with half energy because I keep exhausting myself while fishing because I don't think about energy. <laughs> so it's a big mistake, <laughs> but no big deal. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and head down to the uh, ocean. It's a little bit of a distance away, but yeah, I uh, this game is actually really awesome. Uh, Kylie, my wife, she plays it for um, she likes like the uh, interactions with people and like doing the the animals and stuff. For me, am I going the wrong way? There we go. That's what I thought. Anyway, for me, I like upgrading my tools and murdering things. So I got all the way down to level 120 in the mines, and uh, because of that, I'm pretty much all set. I got all the good stuff. I know there's iridium and there's like a desert mining camp, I guess, but I haven't gotten there yet. Can I get something from you? Uh, okay, I don't know about this guy. Again, I haven't even touched a wiki at all. So I, um, some things you might be like, oh, dude, this is so easy. Like, But I just, I try to not spoil it for myself. Anyway, so, yes, to fish, there's three spots I'd like because there's three different places to fish. Well, there's, there's more. I'll go to all the places I fish during a given day. So this is the ocean fishing spot for me. There's three different piers. I don't think there's much of a difference if you go out this direction or this direction or this direction. I feel like it's all the same thing. So, perhaps I'm wrong because again, I don't look at the wiki. So, if, you, if you're like incredibly curious, like, oh my goodness, I think he doesn't know anything he's doing. Mulgrath, what are you doing? Then just go ahead and go to the wiki because I know it exists. My wife can't help but go to it, but I tell her she can't spoil it for me. This is a, I think this is, what is this, a salmon? No. Whatever this is, it's being a little feisty. There we go. Oh yeah, the albacore. Okay, so this one should be a golden one. Yeah, it's golden. But again, everything's pretty much golden for me now, so it's a little bit of a mute point because honestly, I am level 10 fisher, so goldfish is pretty much the only thing I'm gonna get. Gold. I don't mean goldfish like goldfish, but I mean goldfish like gold star on the fish that costs more money than normal fish. Yes, that's what I mean. So yeah, I go there. And that bridge needs to be repaired. It only costs 320, I think it's 320 wood, something like that. It's not that much. Really, I mean, if you just spend all your energy in a day, like when you go home and realize that it's late, but you have plenty of energy left over, then what I'll do, and what I suggest you do, actually, I shouldn't have gone that way. And what I suggest you do is to uh, just chop down trees and cut, like break those rocks that are in your, uh, in your uh, farm, and then you should be good to go. And you guys might have seen a quick little peek at my farm. It's kind of, it's not really that crazy and intense, but it does get the job done. So for me, 
I noticed that when I fished right here, I would only get silver. But if I fish, we'll see this little like divot. Fish right next to it, like this spot. Go ahead and fish. You'll land like right on the d darker part, and for some reason that just gives me this gold galore. I don't know why exactly, but it does. My my fishing senses were tingling when I noticed this. So this should be gold as well. Yeah, it's a chub. Dang it. Yeah, it's another golden chub for me. <laughs> it's kind of weird though, because like this is the first day I've had level 10 fishing. So I don't even know if everything's going to be gold, because I haven't really had much time to test this out. I just wanted to kind of enlighten everyone, because I think fishing spots are a thing. So I'm going to go to the last place I fish. There are more places, like, way more places. Like, this is actually a decent place to uh, do the, uh, the river fishing as well. But I just don't go here because there's a lot of other places for me. And this place, I don't know, it's kind of out of the way a little bit. The, the... The first place I showed you is right by the mines, and so it's, I go there all the time. Oh, did I miss it? I don't have my sound on right now because I wanted to be able to talk without... Like, I usually use my speakers nowadays. I couldn't find my headphones, so... Oh, dang it. That's all I get for itching my head. <laughs> Alright, come on, last try. I know, third time is the charm. Staring down. Can't hear... Ah! Yes! Green algae. Okay, whatever. Ah, spent too much time there anyway. I'm gonna go ahead and head to the uh, the secret area, which has a certain fish. I'm sure you guys probably know about this area. I discovered it for myself. I felt so good about myself. Yeah, this place is chock full of slimes and mushrooms. Oh, whoa, lots of mushrooms. I wonder why there's so many mushrooms. Maybe it's because it's fall time. Beats me, but that's a lot of mushrooms. I'm gonna get these lighter. It doesn't matter too much to me. Hey buddy. So there's like, this is like a shrine or something? I don't know. I have no idea. It's kind of weird. Yeah, still searching for the sweetest taste. Maybe I have to feed him something. I have no clue. Again, I don't do the wiki, so I feel like a lot of you guys know exactly what this is. <laughs> but I don't. Anyway, this is a, this is a spot I fish too because even though it does have a decent, like it has a much better chance of getting junk for some reason. I'm not sure why. It does give me a uh, rare fish that can only be found in this spot, and I think this is the one because it's already kind of spazzing out. It's a, it's like a red snapper or something. I don't remember. Whoa, chillax fish, dang! All right, yeah, I'm usually decent at fishing. I don't have any tackles though that can like help me out, so this is just running on just the rod. Oh, catfish! Oh, that's a new fish for fall then. Ah, yes. Anyway, so that's the four spots I go to. They're actually very... If you just think, I'm going to spend one day fishing, then that's... Oh, hey, look. Uh, bubbles. Bubbles make the fish bite faster. But I've messed up. <laughs> anyway, you can do any of those places in less than an hour, or roughly an hour. Maybe a little bit more for uh, the beach one. But you can go to all these places... Um, in, in like an hour so you can basically fish until about 11 30 oh if you don't and if you don't really care about energy because it's really easy for you to find like it is if you if you have if you chose the mushroom path I'm just gonna give you guys a little hint you should choose the mushrooms because my wife chose the fruit and the fruit bats suck but the mushroom guy is so much better so do that if you don't know what I'm talking about you should really get this game and spend like if it's like within the first couple of weeks that you'll get a choice between if your cave should be filled with fruit bats or if your cave should be filled with mushrooms and the mushrooms I just feel are so much better but who knows maybe I'm wrong that's just from my own personal experience maybe I'm incredibly lucky and my wife is not beats me I don't know anyway gonna get this hardwood because it's valuable and then retreat all right anyway that's just about it I just wanted to show you guys the fishing spots. Uh, once I become good at other things like farming and, and chopping down, I mean, chopping down hardwood is this is the place to go, by the way, because you're wondering. Hardwood is pretty rare. So, this is the place where it regenerates every week, every day. I have no clue. Maybe I'll find that out if I do enough testing. But yeah, that's about it for me, guys. Fishing is amazing, and I'm going to go ahead and end my day super early because I want to show you guys how valuable these fish can be because it's kind of crazy. Now, I didn't get any rares, unfortunately, because I wasn't lucky this time. 
but rare fish are also very, very valuable. So here's the bottom part of my farm, the part I've neglected. <laughs> so this part just has, it's overrun with grass, that's about it. I got everything else taken care of the trees for the most part. And this is my place. My place. And uh, Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and sell the uh, fish. So everything that is a fish will be sold. And I guess I'll sell the coral too, because I go, every time I go to the, o the ocean, I think, I think that should count towards the... Uh, the crop fish. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and just sell that. Yeah, I'll keep everything else. Also, I'll show you guys the uh, mushroom farm. <laughs> so, uh, one morning you'll wake up with Demetrius is creepily right there, and they'll ask you if you want to have mushrooms or you want to have uh, fruit bats. And mushrooms always produce six when they do produce. However, fruit bats produce like sometimes one, sometimes three. And they're just fruits, and mushrooms seem to be much more valuable. So go for the mushrooms. I think that's the best choice. Anyway, alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and sleep for the night. We can see how much all my fish are worth. So you guys have an idea of how valuable fishing can be. So, lost in a thousand for just a few fish. I do have level 10 fishing, and I chose plus 50% fish price. So it is a little bit of a difference, but still, the, fa the fact that the catfish is almost 400 is crazy. Carp sucks, but carp actually isn't that bad. And these were silver because I can't get the... See, as you can see, in that little special fishing spot, the fish were just silver because it's not a huge area. Like, you can't throw your rod in a big, huge area with big, huge fish. So that's why they're just silver. And these that's why these are gold because I was in huge, wide-open spaces. So yeah, that's a good way of making money, if, especially early on because I, I basically went right into fishing like day one because I felt like it was just a good thing for me and it's totally worth it so that is it for me thank you so much for watching I hope you have a wonderful time fishing in this game and if you haven't played it already I definitely recommend it Stardew Valley is basically the best game ever so adios everyone see you all next time bye bye